My name is Patrick Harmon, and I'm the writer of Floors. Floors is all about the weirdest hotel in the world. The Whippet Hotel is named after Merganser D. Whippet, and the last words that his father told him before he died were these, you will prosper in the field of wacky inventions. And Merganser D. Whippet took that to mean that he should make something really unusual that no one had ever made before. And so his idea was to make the Whippet Hotel. And it turns out that he's a very strange guy with a lot of strange ideas about how things should be, and he's very smart, and his dad was kind of rich. So he has a lot of money to make this amazing place, and that's how the Whippet got its name, and that's why it's such a strange place to stay. The Whippet Hotel is full of very strange rooms. There's an entire floor that's haunted. There are rooms that have caves and ponds. Uh, there's actually a flying farm room. You don't want to go in there. But my favorite room when I wrote this book, the one that I like going into myself, kind of in my imagination the most, is the pinball room, which again is almost an entire floor of a hotel. And it looks a little bit like a normal room, but you can actually play the room like a real pinball machine. So there's like a little control room you can go into and you can shoot a bowling ball into play. And where you would normally sit on these couches, and you can use them for that, um, when you start using the dials, you'll find that those couches actually turn into flippers. And every part of this room, from the beds to the refrigerator to the dishwasher to the bar, it all is part of this elaborate, kind of dangerous pinball machine. And this should tell you something else about the Whippet Hotel. It's cool and it's fun and it's imaginative, but it's also pretty dangerous. The rooms themselves take up almost an entire floor of a hotel. So number one, they're big. Um, and they're all extremely elaborate, very odd rooms. And if you read this book, you'll be able to find out about each one of them.